according to punch the Igbo elders consultative forum chaired by dr chukwe maker azife the former governor of anambra state has called on the federal government to demilitarize the southeast and embrace dialogue in order to ensure each free conduct of the forthcoming anambra gubernatorial election the forum believes that rather than the use of force dialogue is a more effective approach to ensure that peace and normalcy return in the region. The forum also called for the release of suspected IPOP and ESN gunmen locked up in different detention facilities all over the country. This is coming after Punch reported that nine Anambra gubernatorial candidates in a joint statement called on the federal government to release the IPOB leader Namdi Kano and, and to demilitarize the Southeast. The nine candidates also charged IPOB and other secessionist groups to keep away from doing anything that may be seen as trying to sabotage the Anambra election. Since the arrest of Namdi Kano, violent secessionist groups like the Biafra National Guard and the IPOB have threatened to disenfranchise the people of Anambra State. Their nefarious activities are one of the major reasons why the military decided to launch Exercise Golden Dawn in the Southeast. The Exercise Golden Dawn is a joint security operation aimed at restoring peace and normalcy in the Southeast. And ever since this operation was launched, several security agents have been deployed to the region. And why the federal government should not demilitarize the Southeast amidst the call to demilitarize the Southeast, it has become pertinent to note that Biafra National Guard and IPOP gunmen have become more daring, hence the need to handle them with an iron hand. These violent secessionists who started with locally made guns now wield assault rifles and explosives, according to a recent publication by Daily Post. The BNG organization led by General Innocent Oji, who previously threatened to declare Biafra in an, an independent state, has now bragged about owning what appears to be rockets, which are named Red Devil 01. The BNG commander also said that the group plans to attack security operatives who, involved, who would try to prevent them from achieving their Biafra. It should be recorded that four days ago in idemili south of anambra state a group of ipo government who attacked a joint team of security operatives at a nobi junction were overpowered and they suffered heavy casualties when a police team subsequently arrived at the location to search for clues that may lead to the arrest of the ipo gunmen who managed to flee they found a local made rocket propelled grenade and a hand grenade in a bag believed to belong to one of the IPOP gunmen. Well, the presence of the military is needed in the southeast to neutralize these criminal group criminal groups and put them to where they belong. Is there anything that needs to be done more than that? Okay. These are opinions of people. And of course, a lot of people have been calling on Buari. Oh, don't do this. Don't negotiate. Don't do this and that. Just keep doing what you are doing. What you are doing is the best. Just keep doing it. Keep, keep doing it. Only a fool and thinks peace comes from military force. Only people who do not think, uh, think democracy is based on military presence at a voting booth. Only a terrorist thing to mercilessly crush and mercilessly crushed land owners who are capable of defending themselves terrorist nigeria military force police and security operatives continue deceiving yourselves because you are a natural born whatever whatever with this territory natives which owns the land have defeated fulani caliphate called nigeria in which biafra republic of south is is one of the six sovereign states defeated talks of Fulani terrorists, nicknamed military, police, and so on, are women in a war, men lost. The barracks are empty. Only widows are warning, warming the barracks. Every Igbo man or woman who stand for Biafra Republic of Southeast is a revolution fighter. 
majority of Igbos which stand for Biafra Republic of South East have capability and capacity to eliminate defeated talks of Fulani, nicknamed military as police and so on, on every inch of South East Biafra Republic territorial border in less than 24 hours. Nothing on earth can challenge a God-given Biafra Republic of South East within disintegrated republics of these territory natives. Nothing on earth can challenge our existence as Igbos under Biafra Republic of South East. Only the sword decides. Well, our comments don't count if not Nigeria Army have no business in Igbo land. Our leaders at not serious at all their terrorist uh, supporters continue saying what you don't even know why nigeria cheating them they are out of 1914 amalgamation it is yoruba and Hausa with some british people god of prophets eliza red are uh, ready to fight or elijah ready to fight for them i pray victory at last hmm. you know for for a lot of people now ah oh my goodness oh they've scattered this whole thing oh why should they be uh doing this that should they be doing that you know like i said some people are eligible to do anyhow some people are eligible to commit some manner of atrocities oh some people are they are they are eligible to act with impunity but others cannot do that Others cannot do that. If some people do it, majority of the people will just keep quiet. They won't say anything. Or is it because they are used to such thing happening in that zone? But when it comes to the people of the South, oh, you are not supposed to speak like that. This is where you are supposed to, that they will begin to hammer on you. But when it comes to those other people, because they know that they will come for them, they will just keep mum. Keep mum, keep mute. They will, you know, hear pam for their mouth. And that is why you see that uh, the Nigerian soldiers are very, very eager when it comes to south east the good day that is where the record victory and success the record victory and success because they believe that these guys are soft targets they will put everything within their power to do so that is where we have found ourselves and a lot of vested interest oh singing buari keep on going right on what you are doing is the best what you are doing is best that's why you hear some people say that say, oh parading the northerners who are hiding inside trucks that it will it is dangerous and also calling for the release of namde kano it, it will increase more threats you see like they always say what is good for the goose is good for the ganders mm -mm, not in nigeria